Good morning, this is Erwin St. Rose reporting for WKEJ News in Chicago. In the business world, the NBA said teams in the league encompassing the biggest basketball club in North America could place a two and a half inch square sponsored logo. Teams until now have been unable to export this lucrative commercial option to go to many other sports. As much predict the, the, the deals will generate more than $4 million a year for clubs. The NBA, which is the first major North American sports league to announce plans to put ads on jerseys, said a small patch would appear on the front left of men's jerseys as part of a three year pilot program. Jersey sponsorships provide deeper engagement with partners looking to build a unique association with our teams, and the additional investment will help grow the game in exciting ways, said NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. In June, the NBA signed a $1 billion sponsorship deal with Nike and places the Nike swoosh logo on the right shoulder of all NBA team shirts. The NBA's 30 teams will be responsible for making their own deals with sponsors for this new patch space. In world news, Japanese rescuers were digging through the rubble of buildings in mud. On Saturday, three citizens believed trapped after a powerful 7.3 magnitude earthquake struck a southern island, killing only 32 people and injuring about a thousand. The tower earthquake hit in the early hours, sending people fleeing from their beds on dark streets, and followed a 6.4 magnitude quake on Thursday, which killed nine people in the area. Rain and cold were forecast overnight, adding extra urgency to the rescue effort. Television footage showed, ty- showed fires. Power outages and collapsed bridges and severe road hanging over a ravine and gaping holes in the earth. Residents near a dam were told to leave because the fears of might crumble, broadcaster NHK said. I felt strong shaking at first, then I was thrown about like I was in a washing machine, said a Tokai University student who remains isolated on the, in the village of Minamiyaso in Kamamoto province on the island of Kiyashi. In sports news, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors took the last shot on Michael Jordan in the history when they switched it. For 73. Down to their final chance of the record, the Warriors became the first 73 win team the other night by beating the Memphis Grizzlies 135 to 104. Breaking what many considered an unmatchable mark set 20 years ago by Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Oh, and Golden State coach Steve Curry, too. Curry achieved yet one, yet one more shooting milestone, becoming the first player to make 43 pointers in a season by knocking down 10 from long range on the way to 46 points and 402 total threes. Golden State saved one last record for the closing day of the regular season and did it with a roaring sellout crowd of Oregon. Yeah, these Warriors want nothing more than to develop a remarkable run so far and ride to their title. When the final round sounded, Green bounded, bounded onto the floor and grabbed the ball, game ball, so Betty streamed down and 73 wings appeared on the scoreboard. President the Obama sent, sent a tweet as to congrats to the Warriors, a great group of guys on onto court. If somebody had to break the Bulls record, I'm glad it's there. In local news, as rampant as the heroin academic has become, there is something new and even more dangerous. A drug aided at 200 times more potent than heroin is showing up all over Chicago. Overdoses from a synthetic form of fentanyl are being poured in most color countries. Users have been combining heroin and fentanyl for years. Fentanyl is much stronger than heroin gives you a a better high, but officials say that there is a new form of fentanyl that may be catching us off guard. It's monumental. I have never seen anything like it, said Will County Coroner Patrick O'Neill. We believe that the victims are out perhaps to, to buy heroin, and this is being substituted for heroin, and they are actually overdosing on it rather quickly, said O'Neill. O'Neill says synthetic fentanyl looks the same as heroin or prescription fentanyl. Fentanyl is one of the most powerful pagans on the market and is usually given to cancer patients through a patch or injection. In national news, crime fighting innovation that helped make New York into America's safest big city requires police officers to question other suspects with each other. On a recent weekday morning, Inspector Carlos Valdez stood nervously behind the podium as more than 200 top NYPD cops spread them about a surge in robberies and burglars in the 40th precinct in the Bronx. All right, Carlos, you know what you're up there for. Chief James O'Neill said a lot of things going on in the 40. Crime is definitely not heading in the right direction. Valdez defended his work in that. And the detectives from the 40th precinct who were sitting behind them were up in robberies, assaults, burglaries, and grand larcenies. We're also up in arrest for these next crimes, said Valdez, his voice cracking. Comstat, a statistical, web, statistical system for tracking crime, was introduced by Police Commissioner Bill Bratton and his deputy, Jack Mayer, in the four. During Bratton's first term as head of the NYPD, 22 years later, Bratton is once again a top cop in Gotham. Comstat is still in use, and crime has fallen 75%. A fact Bratton calls New York miracle. The city had 1,946 more than 93, or more than five a day. It had 1,052 in 2015.
This has been Erwin St. Rose reporting for the UKEJ News in Chicago. Have a great day. On to the next time, Chicago.